Now that is certainly something worth to look at. This is no girl, Arthur. How about a look woman? <laughs> she is so exquisite that even I am moved by her beauty. And she is no ordinary woman. I feel a power here that rivals my own. Nice music. I'm listening to it. So, I guess that's Fatima. Fat Ima. If you really want to rape her name. Fatima. Let's talk to her. Oh, handsome stranger from a distant land. This is my dance of love. I offer you pleasures such as you have never known. <coughs> <coughs> well, I offer you my body and soul and sensual delights beyond imagining. In this enchanted place, we will take our endless fill of one another. I offer you the sweetest wine and the most succulent fruits and meats. I offer you complete freedom from all weariness and care. Kiss me. And I will give you forgetfulness and bliss in an earthly paradise. All the pains of your heart and soul will be cured. Will you kiss me and be my cherished lover? I... I would like to say yes. But we need to be, you know, virtuous. And, uh, and all that. <sighs> Hmm. It would be lovely. Yeah, she had. Yeah, she has a penis, right? A man sausage. <laughs> and we have to say nay, nay to her offerings of um, pure bliss. Then, if the delights of the flesh are not enough for you, I can offer more powerful gifts. I serve the goddess herself and have drunk from her sacred cup. Behold, a vision of the Holy Grail. That certainly is a Holy Grail. I think. I have the power to give you immortality. With but one kiss you will become invincible. No man, woman or beast will ever overcome you. You will strike the earth powerful and invincible for all time. Think of the deeds of valor you could before. Think of the boredom you would end up with. Living forever. Will you kiss me and become a god in human form? Hell no! I think it would be boring to be able to live forever. <laughs> She's a demon! <laughs> Here, holy grail, see me make my tits sparkle! <laughs> Pretty much. Here, look at the Holy Grail. It's like right between her boobs. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly am looking at the Grail there. <laughs> I will say nay. Then I find you worthy, King Arthur, and will help you find what you seek. Ask me what you will. Okay. Let's ask about the goddess that she was mentioning. She who I serve has infinite names, and in all times and in all places she is known by her three natures. As the white virgin she renews and, rege and generates life, as the red mother she nurtures and protects life, and as the black crone she is death and the forces of destruction. Okay. What about the six guardians? Or six goddesses? You have three more guardians to face. Okay. And what about the Grail? Yeah, three trials of body, spirit, and heart yet to face. If you are to wrest the cup of regeneration from the goddess and take it with you as the Grail. From here, your path must lie through the deadly catacombs, as it did for the man who come came here before you, the one called Kelehad. But to walk safely in the catacombs, you must pass my test of symbols. So let's ask about Galahad. 
he too resisted my seductions. I have learned from the Hierophant that Galahad entered the catacombs to continue his search. But he did not pass the test of symbols that I placed before him, and so I fear he has suffered by entering the catacombs without the gift of Hierophant. Great. Let's ask about the test. The test awaits behind this door. Six tablets, each engraved with a symbol of the Arc Goddess, rest next to a stone plaque with six niches. Six questions I will pose. You must know to which goddess the question belongs, and place her symbol in the proper niche. When all six symbols have been placed, I will tell you whether you have passed or failed. If you fail, you may try again. But there is one more thing I require of you, a gesture to show that you are not bound by material possessions. Give me your purse. I was hoping that she would want the D, but she wants the purse. She's a gold digger. That's all she is. Going for the test. So let's give her the purse. We didn't even have much money. We had like one silver and five copper or something like that. Fine, let's move closer. Let's not throw it from here. There, have my purse. The door is open. The test awaits you. Oh, talk about showing off your talents. And I don't mean her assets, I mean her talents. Oh, look, I can open the door with the power of my mind. Ooh. What a waste of telekinetic powers. Here is the challenge placed before you. There are six tablets engraved with a symbol. One for each of the six goddesses. There are six niches for the tablets. So choose a niche, and I will pose a question. One question for each of the six goddesses. You must know which goddess answers the question. Then move the tablet with her symbol into the niche. When you have answered all six questions, only then will I tell you whether you have passed or failed. I bid you to begin, and may Aphrodite look smile upon you. <clears throat> Back in the day, like I said in the last in the last stream where I was playing this game. We did not have the manual. And also, I have made the mistake that I didn't talk to the uh, old man about all the goddesses, because he would draw these symbols that would match the goddess in question. We didn't know to do that back in the day. And when me and my brother, we got to this point in the game, that is when we started to dig for all, all encyclopedias and whatever book we could find to any kind of information about goddesses of, myth of different mythologies. And it's a miracle we actually found enough information to match them up. It was pure miracle that we were able to play this game through. So what does this prove? Read books. Yeah. Books are good for you. Definitely. Okay, so let's see what we got. What I do need is Conquest. Him a lot. What I do need is to find out who these belong to. I mean, seriously. Without knowing the symbols of which god, goddess which symbol belongs to, I don't think I'd be able to play this throw. So I somehow need to find out. Which one is which? Which goddess is which? And uh, which which a watch? 
I know the names of the goddesses, that I do know. I just need to know which symbol goes to which goddess. M would make things so much easier. The only thing is, can't seem to find any pictures. <sighs> Hmm. <sighs> not gonna be easy. This is not going to be easy. Shish kebab. I do have a plan. I have a plan, actually. Let's... Uh, I'm finished. Nay, I will not try again, because I want to load the game. And... Stay in the path, Harbor Master, man or boy, desert... in the city. Venus is the circle and plus sign. And yeah, that's one, at least. Uh, it was this one. Oh boy. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you say. Don't trust you. Never did. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, blah blah blah. 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 Eat pig. Drink. Okay, let's ask about a start. That is the symbol of a start. That's the uh, bull. Okay. A bull. Okay, I'm gonna need some kind of a. I will need a program here. Paint. Go. Okay. Okay. So that's a start, hey. So who is the next one I need to ask about? Athene. Ask about Athene. That is the symbol of Athene. Stupid appear. Idiot. Idiot. That is Athene. I'm such a good drawer with the mouse. Oh, yes. I am magnificent. Okay, let's ask about Sereth. Sereth is, like you said, the question mark with a plus is Sereth. <laughs> oh, you guys getting confused about things there. Okay, so let's 
ask the next well, next one, which is Isis. Let's go out, Isis. So Isis is that. Boing, boing, boing. Derp. Isis. Then we ask about Venus and Vesta. Okay, ask about Venus. And that's the uh, female sign. Should have known. Venus. Superior writing again. In my drawings. And that is Vesta. Okay. That is Vesta. Okay. Got all of those. Now I can load the game. Going for the test. So, let's do this. So the first niche is the morning star and evening star are named for her. Morning star and evening star are Venus. Okay. And Venus was the female symbol. So this goes to here. Among her other names are Astro Ark, Atar, Samajin, and Ishtar. I think that's Isis. Mm. No, actually, no. Ishtar is actually Athene. Maybe. No? Could be wrong. I'm wrong again. Astarte is Atar, Samajin, Ishtar. Okay. I was totally wrong. So that's this one. She gave birth to the sun, granted immortality to rulers. Gave birth to the sun. Mm -hmm. Gave birth to the sun, immortality. Savior race of men. Let's see if there's somebody else gave birth to the sun. Ceres is a. So it's Isis. This one is Isis, which is this. She was known to the Romans and as Hestia. Uh, Hestia, Hestia, Hestia. Uh, that's Vesta. Vesta is Hestia. So that is this one. And here, her major festival was celebrated on April 19th. <sighs> okay, April 19th. April 19th. That's Ceres. So it's this one. And I'm just gonna sit and look. According to Greek legends, she was born from the forehead of Zeus. Well, yeah, that's Athena, all right. And we're done! Your wish enemy is great. You have passed my test. Woohoo! Excellent. Truly you are the w most worthy of all men who have passed my door. Go with my blessings and find the Hierophant. Awesome. Past. 
So now we go to... Actually, I got to close one of these programs in the background. Because I don't need it anymore. Just give you a second here. Just fixing to make sure that... There we go. No, I don't want to... What? What the heck? Windows, what are you doing? What's happening? What the heck? God damn it, what the heck's going on here? Windows, what are you doing? What? what, what what's happening? My scum is... Oh, for fuck's sake, what the hell's going on? Seriously? I can't see the game anymore. It's like the window is like behind my desktop bar. And I can't move it up anymore. It's like moving it away from me when I click it. Ugh. Come on. Come on. What's the hell what the hell's happening to this game now? I can't even save the game because I cannot reach it. No. No, I want to... No! What the hell's going on here? What the hell happened to this freaking... Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, you, you guys don't understand. I cannot move the game window. It is stuck behind the desktop bar. It won't... The, this is how far I can get the pointer. This is how far it goes. It's stuck down there for some reason. And I can't move it up. I don't know what happened here suddenly. I really no, don't have any idea of what's going on here. There's some kind of a mistake happened with the game. Or the freaking window. No, Fairbite, you don't understand. It cannot make it. Unless you're not talking to me. Ugh. Come on. Yeah. Freaking hell. Come on. There we go. Let's just restart the whole freaking scum VM. What the hell happened there? That was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. I never had any kind of that kind of a problem before. Jeez. Freaking hell. That was annoying. Okay. So let's get out of here. Oh man, I forgot. <sighs> I'll load the game again. <sighs> ask about the hero, and I really should ask about that because we don't know who the heck that is. Ancient he is, and he is wise, yet shunned by fools who fear his guise. Thank you, I guess? I don't know. But I do have an idea who he could be. I do have an idea who he could be. 
Hello there, Hierophant. I'm sure you're him. Hierophant. What answer can you expect from a leprous beggar? Talk, beggar. Maybe he'll talk now. Salam alaikum, King Arthur. You have passed many trials, yet more guardians of the sacred cup wait to test you. Through the catacombs you must pass. Not long ago, the one called Galahad entered the catacombs and has not returned. If you are ready to follow him, ask of me, open the catacombs, and I will do so. Okay. To the catacombs. No, not ask about. Open the catacombs. The kickmaker in the count for answers. <laughs> because you have passed the test of symbols, I will give you a gift that would save your life. Within the catacombs there are cursed rats whose bite is poison. One bite from these rats and you will die slowly. Even the slightest bite means certain death. If bitten again, the end comes more quickly and with great agony. Take this vial of elixir. If you are bitten, drink it and you will be cured. There is but one dosage, so waste it not. That's good to know. The way is open. Go. 